Bro, she's Sonic on my oat till I re on her gins. Hey, everybody, what to welcome back. Why did I say that to the game skits today and only today? We are here to talk about Sonic, uh, Sonic Origins, no, Sonic Frontiers. Actually, we're actually talking, uh, I can't say words. We're here to talk about Sonic Frontiers. Someone brought it, I told me in my comments that me clapping sometimes is distracting. I'm sorry, I will try to clap less. In fact, I will I'll try to fist bump myself, but I don't know if that's like. Is that the same thing you would say? Like, would you say like this is the same as the I don't know. I'm just gonna try not to I was gonna say <laughs> Alright guys, listen. Listen. I told you guys I do these in one day. We can't we can't have the redos. We gotta live with what we said. So guys, listen, we're gonna talk about Sonic Frontier story, but before that, of course, subscribe to your boy, like the video, let me know what's up, let me know how you feel. And by the way, I have been given Sonic Origins, I have the game, uh, so I'm going to be playing it on my own a lot, I'm going to be streaming it a lot, uh, once you can, which is Thursday, the 23rd, and that way I'll be able to, you know, answer questions, blah, 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 so I have the game, so hopefully I can have a review of it by, like, Friday or Saturday, you know, once I've had, because, like, I feel like, you know, once I've had enough time with it, I've tried the mission stuff, they're, they're, they're the old games of the new fresh paint of cone and uh, paint of coat, coat of paint, and with some new stuff in there, so it should be fairly simple for me to review for it, uh, through it, but of course, I'll give you my thoughts once we go through it, so guys, let's begin, so let's talk about Sonic Frontier story today, because this is something that was really, that's been really, like, not bugging me, but it's something that, like, I've been thinking about a lot, because we really haven't seen any of this game's sort of, uh, gameplay, you know, sorry, we've seen the gameplay, but we have yet to see, like, explicit story stuff. And what I mean by that is we have information about story stuff, but we don't necessarily have, like, you know, a cutscene yet or anything. We've had the CGI opening that we saw for the reveal of the game. We had the CG uh, animation opening that we saw, you know, at the Game Awards where he's running away from the ancient tech bots. And then he sees that giant mech at the end where he's looking at him, which we've seen in the game. Now, we've seen one of those mechs. We have yet to actually see gameplay of that mech fully evolved but yeah we've had tidbits of story stuff but i want to talk about necessarily what the overall theme is so first of all before we get into plots of of course you've talked about this for a while but ian flynn is writing the story of this game and like this is you have to understand this is such a big deal because for the last 10 years the writing for the sonic games has been done by like this like these awful teams i'm talking about teams that have worked on stuff like that pac-man ghostly adventure shows we're talking about people that worked on happy tree friends and stuff like things like ip i think it was a ken pontek or something either way people that like just do not understand sonic fundamentally as a character or the series enough to make the stories for them which is why the stories have been super saturday morning cartoony which isn't bad for the most part necessarily but it's still like it has definitely a weird air to it you know what i mean so that's been a big issue but having ian flynn who writes the idw comics which people adore story wise even me for like i read about 30 issues so far I have to catch up on the, the newer ones. I think it's up to like 50, 51 now. Um, they're awesome, man, because they give the character shine. They have like, it's that sort of like, you still have the Sonic stylings of like, you know, the, the, the snarky attitude and the fun character styles you know of each character and they have their moments but it's still fun at its core you know it's still a sonic story but you can have some depth to it you know like what most most notably i think one of the sickest arcs that was in the idw was the um it was what, what is it called i always forget the the word it's basically the it's basically like, think of like a zombie invasion for sonic you know what i mean where everybody gets infected and you're literally seeing the main cast get infected and they're getting sad about seeing their friends it really is crazy i really do urge you to check out idw fine you can you know get them online and get them in stores whatever find your way to read them because they're really worth it but yeah so that's such a big deal and that's why people are making a big deal because ian flynn's given like the writing of the whole thing and sega's even proudly said like hey we have ian flynn writing this and you're going to be surprised by a lot of the stuff um we know for example based on synopsis right for the game that we got at the game awards right let me let me grab it here it's not even their songs long time nemesis dr eggman discovers an ancient technology on the starfall islands and installs his ai program sage to hack in and take over but there's more to this technology than he realizes and unintended consequences immediately come to bear Sonic must race against time to discover the truth save his friends and maybe save himself in time so it's interesting this guy I, I did the clap thing here. um this game is going to be so i really don't think eggman really is going to be the villain in this game i think we can i think it's been pretty you know i feel like that's pretty explicit that it's going to be most of these robots and that these guys aren't part of eggman in fact there's one screenshot we have of the game where like there's this like 
the this like planet namic style um ship where like you see eggman's logo on it but it doesn't look like anything dangerous and i wonder i feel like what's gonna happen is this game cuts this game might start you know big opening cutscene with a typical battle between sonic and eggman you know he tries to get a hold of this tech it messes up completely and we end up in this world now a big thing to note that we know from the previews and stuff is that the characters don't have their memories we don't know to what extent we don't know if like sonic gets them back right away we don't know really much about that aside from that the characters don't have their memories and that in this footage the little heart at some point that sonic collected we know that that's amy's memories so you're collecting the gang's memories so what we know so far, right? Collecting the gang's memories. We know about this ancient tech that's sort of fucked up that Eggman, you know, was trying to, to harness. Um, and that we know it's mysterious. So what was this article I read here? Uh, it was by, what's it called? It was by the game Rayer. So let me let me see what they got from VentureBeat. Um, from Izuka. The storytelling techniques we're using for Frontiers are a little bit different. We want to have you experience things as Sonic would experience them in a very mysterious format. You show up on an island, but why are you here on the island? What even are these islands? That's the mystery we, we wanted to set up and have you figure out as you explore the islands. Izuka continues to explain how the team is advanced story song story like you're going around and figuring out more of the mysteries you're learning more about what's going on in the story because you're going on experiencing it while playing as sonic so um again a very sort of nothing statement in a way like it's funny like it's sort of a, uh, it's sort of like almost dodging a question about like it's going to be a mysterious thing which I, I, it's very clearly a theme with the game, you know, and there was another interview where they were saying the reason why the areas are so realistic is because it's it's what they're trying to do with the storytelling and like the the way the everything is presented. So it's very clearly intentional. People that don't like the sort of realistic approach to the to this area and think that the other islands are going to be much different. I wouldn't hold too many hopes for that because it's very clear that they they're going for this you know they said they want to go with the photorealistic areas um because it fits in line with what the story is going on here now you're collecting these ancient gears as well you're trying to save your friends i do hope saving your friends doesn't boil down to like sonic generations where it's like you know you get them and then they're just like oh thanks for saving me sonic and then like they just you just sort of never see them again i hope you know once you save them you sort of get more you know out of figuring them out like you get to talk to them maybe they're gonna actually be part of the story maybe they help you through the environment i don't think they're gonna be playable or anything but as long as you know in some way that they're still helpful and they have a lot to say and do i think that will go a long way because i really don't want it to be that like you just get the character and that's it you know i want it to be more than that i really uh, obviously See, a big challenge open world games have, right, is storytelling in general, because you have to basically deal with the with the fact that um, you have to deal with the fact that people are going to be playing around the environment potentially for like three, four hours without seeing a cutscene, right, which automatically uh, causes some disconnect. That's why a lot of open world games have side quests and stuff so that your brain is like sort of sort of redirected to what they should be focusing on for dialogue and stuff but with a with a platformer open world it's going to be a lot of you know sonic doing puzzles going to those cyberspace levels doing this so it's going to be interesting to see how they they focus even people said like the demo they got to play was very much like very much short of like breath of the wild where it was like save your friend and then it just lets you go and do whatever which again cool gameplay wise but i wonder what that means for the story i do hope that means like you know when we get to a cutscene that's worth it um we saw like hit like fucking awful 140p frames of a cutscene where like sonic wakes up after you know he he lands on the planet and you you could sort of faintly see a tear in his eye um there's also another cutscene that we like again barely see which is why i don't even want to really uh bother to find it or anything where you're just seeing sonic you know talk in emote but he's not really looking or talking to a character so we don't know too much and again like i said you're getting the hearts for amy's memory i wonder if like can you get more that's intended? Like, can you get, like, is it, like, there's 20 hearts and you could get, like, 30 for, like, extra stuff in there? Uh, because some of these are, like, obscurely hidden. I doubt you're going to be able, like, I'm sure you can find a lot of these, but I don't know if you're going to be able to find every single one unless you, like, went through every inch of this area. So I wonder if it's going to be like a thing of, you could get, you know, 30 memories out of, you know, 20 that you need for the story. But I really hope for me that the story for the, for the game just 
kind of has like weight to it a little bit what i mean by that is like i said i still want my snarky sonic which they've said you know that roger this time you know because of ian slim's writing has been able this time around to have his like sort of snarky and 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 fun attitude and serious whenever needed to which is a very important thing i find because i think so i think with roger craig smith specifically we've all sort of talked about this we know this um when it comes to Roger Craig Smith, I don't think he's the problem with Sonic's voice. I think he was just given Sonic's voice during this era where the storylines became very Saturday morning cartoon. Which, again, he did awesome in that regard. You know, he did super well for what he was given. But I can't wait to see him trying, you know, to say dialogue and, and, and say things that like are more akin and line with what the story, you know, should be thematically for Sonic, which is with Sonic it should always be in my opinion the best Sonic storytelling style is like adventure storytelling where you have the fun quirkiness of the fact that you're playing as a fast hedgehog meeting his his little buddies but at the same time there can be weight to the story you know there's a reason Eggman is actually doing what he's doing and it's actually evil it's not just Oh, I'm here to build, you know, this thing and ha, Sonic, like, which obviously is always going to be part of Eggman, but there's cool, it's cool to, when Sonic's story sort of has weight to it, and you can tell there's going to be consequences to what's going on, and that's the most fascinating part of this story, and I think also, like, like I said, the most worrying, worrying part in a sense, because, like I said, open world means you're sort of scattering when the cutscenes are, I hope it isn't, like, start area cutscene, then once you beat everything, I hope, you know, they're sprinkled throughout when you get Amy's memory, maybe when you're about to go through a cyberspace level or something but either way like i think there's a lot of potential and i think if i were to guess you know how the if i were to, like you know make a prediction or make a guess because I, I still think we should get a story trailer we have yet to still we have yet to hear roger say a word we've we, we, we've heard him go huh and like one of like the the demos but like we have yet to hear a single line of dialogue and i think you know part of it is they want to get it all done and recorded but i think another part of it is like you know maybe they just want to make sure they're showing the right things and i one thing i really do hope is that i pray that it's just the demo build and that sonic isn't really this quiet the entire time you know i want it to be that you'll randomly be running around and you'll have sonic because Sonic is totally the type of character that would just talk to himself, you know, and I, wa I want it to be running around being like, oh man, these environments are, are uh, kind of lonesome or whatever, but nothing, nothing I can't handle, you know, something like that, where it's like, just these like little lines of dialogue that show me that Sonic is present in the environment that I'm not just playing as the, the 3D model, you know, and it works differently in the linear adventure levels, like I said, like the linear um, boost levels, because you're just sort of going through them, but in a game where you're sort of in this environment for, you know, mysterious reasons and you don't know why you're here it's very interesting and i think what's gonna happen is obviously this ancient tech is going to have a big impact on what's going on in the game i think it'll be the typical thing where eggman's gonna try to you know get this to work it messes up in some way you might have to help or save eggman and then towards the end of the game he is going to once again try to harness this tech it's gonna create something really crazy and messed up um but i wonder what they're gonna do for the characters i really do hope there's some character arcs or something i'm just i just want to know and i and i have a feeling we might see a new form i don't know we might see a new form of sonic somewhere but either way i think this game has the potential i mean no i think automatically having it written by ian flynn this is automatically gonna be a better story than the ones we've gotten for the past 10 years basically which is really exciting stuff and and i just can't wait to see what they do with that i hope we get a story trailer you know soon if this game is still watching this year we might be getting trailers at least monthly for it so guys everybody listen man listen, listen up listen up let me know what you all think what's your most exciting for what you want to what do you want the most from the story you know what do you want to see what kind of do you want it to be serious do you want it to be funny do you want it to be new do you want a new villain do you want it to just because it's i do like the idea of this creepy ancient tech because obviously the sexualizing the robots aside right they're they are creepy in some way you know they're sort of just got like this like these weird shapes and they sort of just have like no life to them but they're really weird i don't know has a lot of potential so y'all let me know what you guys think let me know what's up and of course i will see you all next video peace out ah!